Hey guys, it's uh, John Paul with Retronyms, and uh, we've been working on an update to IMPC with our friends at Akai Professional. Um, so I just want to kind of show you some of the new features in here and how I like to use them. Um, so most of the new features are in the program edit mode. So in here, obviously, you lay out your drums and sounds and make drum kits, that kind of stuff. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is there's a couple new things over here on the left. Um, we have this new uh, pad group toggle and also an edit button. And the pad group toggle lets you toggle any sound between mute and poly group. So by default, everything's in the poly group, which means you can play multiple sounds at once. So it's polyphony. You can have uh, uh, polyphonic voices, multiple pads going. But if you toggle any sound to the mute group, uh, now they'll cut each other off. Uh, so this is originally used for like hi-hats. You'd have the hi-hat and then the closed hi-hat. Uh, would cut off the, the open hat. But in MPC kind of production land, it's often used for kind of longer samples. So those are playing over top of each other now. So if I set each one to the mute group, and you can see like the poly group is de denoted with green and the mute group is all in blue. So I'll switch this to mute, switch this one to mute. So now the snare is cutting off this longer sample. So this gives a lot of, lot, lot of flexibility with uh, longer sounds and uh, phrases and loops and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll throw this back into poly. So the other uh, feature here is the uh, edit button. This is actually a clone and edit. So before you had to, to make a new sample every time you wanted to retrim something. Uh, now you can just select the sound and hit edit. And it sort of clones it so it keeps your old version in your sound library so you're not going to lose anything. And now you can just trim it, and when you save it, it just drops it right back on that pad. So these two features work really well together. Uh, I'll kind of show um, one way I like to use them. So I'm just going to take this sound, and I'm going to copy it and throw it in the mute group and edit it. And I want to keep the tail end of the sound. I'm just going to uh, trim off the first beat. I want this rim shot here. So I'll tag it, save it. So I'm just going to kind of repeat that process. Uh, copy it, throw it in the mute group, edit, trim off the first beat. And I can keep keep repeating. So now I have a bunch of sounds on my pads here. You'll also notice that empty pads uh, by default are uh, uh, in the mute group also, so they'll choke to silence, which is kind of handy. So now you can hear, I can play these samples, even though they're long samples, I can sort of juggle them around a little bit, and I've set up these cue points. So uh, another great new little detail in, in the program editor is that we have uh, uh, labels that show their values here on these, these tune and level knobs now. So let's say if I wanted to pitch all this stuff up, Now it's real easy for me to match the tuning uh, between all the pads, because now I can see that, OK, this one's three semitones, so now I can match the others as well. So now I've got a bunch of sounds. A little bit more up tempo this way, so go ahead and save it. And uh, you know, basically,
So basically, you can have a lot of fun kind of juggling this stuff around now and gives you a lot more uh, freedom and flexibility. So I really like this feature. I hope you guys too. Um, one other last detail in the uh, sequence uh, editor here, now we're supporting uh, 100 BPMs. So now you can really dial in your tempo to match uh, phrases and loops a lot tighter. So hopefully that helps as well. So I hope to uh, hope you guys like this and I hope to hear uh, some really great stuff on uh, Cloud Cedar.